Oh, hi everybody. Welcome back to my channel. I've got a little bit of a lush haul for you today. Surprise, surprise. Today's the 10th and the Easter products have come out. Um, our store didn't really have very much. They didn't have the um, carrots in, which I was really, really hoping to get, but they weren't in store today. So I've got just a few little bits. And also today they've launched a new campaign. Um, so I actually bought something I didn't realize I was going to buy. So um, it's something that has come out today, but it isn't Easter or related or anything like that. So, I thought it would be more interesting to talk about the campaign rather than some of the other products that have come out but I will show you um, the campaign and a little bit about it. So basically they, if you go into any Lush store at the moment you will um, see these cards on the desk um, and they're actually um, postcards which they are sending at the moment to Boris Johnson. Um, it is a campaign to help promote um, a guy um, called Andy, I think it's Tessage, um, I'm not quite sure how to pronounce his surname, um, who has basically been um, imprisoned illegally um, in a foreign country um, and has been in now I think it's for a thousand days um, and this is to basically raise awareness about his imprisonment and to help um, appeal to the UK government to get him released. Um, now Andy is a British father of three and he's been kidnapped from an international airport and illegally held in Ethiopia on death row. The UK government has powers to negotiate Andy's return but hasn't fa has failed to do so so far. Okay, March the 20th marks a thousand days of Andy's illegal detention. Um, so it's a really sad story and I felt quite inspired to sign up and um, sign the petition. If you go on to um, any social media with relating to Relush, you will see all the information regarding um, the campaign and how to get involved and to support this guy. Um, and if you go into any store, you can fill out one of these postcards and send it off and they will, they'll send it off for you and um, it will appeal to um, Boris Johnson to get more involved in helping the guy out. Um, so yeah, I think it's a really good campaign to get involved in. Um, now they have done a bath bomb um, to promote this and I did notice when I went in they've changed all the packaging as well so they've gone to back to these plain white bags which I think are quite nice actually. It kind of feels very simplified, very stripped down um, and very sort of like ecologically friendly in some way rather than like the blue colours and stuff like that. Um, so they've done a bath bomb um, which is this one here. Um, now it was called the buy one, I want to say it's called buy one, I want to say buy one get one free but it's not but it's like buy one help one be free or something like that um, and this is as you can see it's got like a little tag hanging out of it there okay um, and it's it just seems like quite a simple bath bomb I don't know what's going to be like in the bath um, it doesn't have any stickers on the label and I think it was about £3.75 something like that um, yeah and from what I remember the lady saying in the store um, it's got quite a lot of neroli in it and things like that so it's, it does smell really nice and actually I think it's meant to be there's meant to be a perfume as well that was called oh gosh I can't remember now um, there's a fragrance out as well that mimics or is the same as this um, something about being free or something like that anyway there's a fragrance I'll link it below um, and um, yeah it's just Anything like this, I really feel strongly that people should get involved with and support because if we don't, then that guy's just going to stay there and could get killed. The proceeds of the bath bomb go to a charity to help support people who are locked up, I think, in foreign countries. We're supporting them, we're getting legal aid and things like that. So really, really um, good charity work to support as well. Um, so. 
I was really thrilled to have the opportunity to actually do that. So anyway, yes, that is um, the bath bomb. It smells lovely. I might use that one tonight and give a, do a quick demo. Um, so that is the bath bomb. So I did pick up two other little bits and something very exciting that I'm very pleased I got. Anyway, so I got this one as well. This is um, part of the Mother's Day range. Um, I didn't pick one up last time I was in store um, last month because I can't remember really why, um, but I should have done. Uh, this is the Mum Pink Bath Bomb. Uh, this has sodium bicarbonate, citric acid, Sicilian lemon oil, organic sweet orange, rose oil. Um, yeah, that's, that's it, I think. Um, so let's open this bad boy up. Um, a lot of people have said it's quite a nice bath bomb. I will probably give this one to my mommy. I'm going to see her very soon, but she doesn't know it. So, shh, the secret. Um, so, that one there. Um, actually, someone pointed out to me today, if you turn it round, it says wow. So, actually, it can be for a mum, but it could also be somebody else. Oh, that smells really nice. I didn't really take much notice of how it smelt in the store, but it's really, really sweet. And, oh yeah, I, li I, I like that. I likey likey. Mmm. I may have to get another one of those, just for me. Or maybe I'll have this one and I'll give another one to my mum. Mmm. Yes, that is nice. Right, so I'm gonna pop you back in there. Okay, and I got one more. Now, I'm sure you can probably all guess what this is. I'm so excited. It is the golden egg. Now, I have been waiting probably all year so far for this to come out because I have seen people's videos and pictures of it. Obviously, I didn't buy Lush last year, so um, to me, it's a completely new product. And I really love glitter. So, I only bought one because I'm, I'm, I've got quite a lot of bath bombs at the moment, to be honest. And I'm trying to work my way through them. And I don't need more than one. Because I will probably not use it yet. I'll probably save it for a special occasion. Um, and I'm actually dreading picking this up because, oh my god, it's so glittery. Oh my god. Look at that. Oh my god. It is literally, like I feel like it's gonna slide around in my fingers. There is so much glitter. Even in the bag, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that. Look how much glitter is left in the bag. This is just ridiculously glittery. Um, but you have to embrace the glitter. You just have to. I mean, Now it also does smell a bit like, and it's not quite as strong, but it smells like Honey I um, Wash the Kids, but it's not as strong as, for example, Shoot for the Stars bath bomb that they had at Christmas. It's the same sort of glitter though, actually. So, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Well, that would make the most amazing eyeshadow. Hmm, maybe I will suggest this to Lush. Um, I don't really know what to do with all this glitter that's all over my hands. Ah! Okay. Just drop it in. So that is going... Oh, I am so excited to use that. I have been waiting, waiting, waiting to get hold of that. Um, so that is everything I got from Lush. And like I said, it's just a little bit of a haul. But I really wanted to kind of focus on the campaign because actually it is so important that we all support each other and um just get involved in things that we feel passionate about so um yeah anyway guys you have a lovely weekend um i am back to work tomorrow so um hopefully i'll get this video uploaded tonight or over the weekend but hopefully tonight anyway guys check you later bye